Thanks a lot, Mark. In the Fox 6 Health Center this morning, we're talking about sleep apnea and snoring in a simple and minimally invasive procedure to treat them. To treat them, that is. Joining us to talk about the pillar procedure is Dr. Madden Kandula with St. Joe's Regional Medical Center. We've talked about sleep apnea. We know what that is when people stop breathing. They're not having, you know, the, the best sleep that they can. Right. But there's a, a way to treat that another way. Let's talk about pillar. Right. The pillar procedure, it's, it's relatively new. It's only been around for the last year and a half or so. And what that involves is actually implanting three little implants into the soft palate, which is the area just above uh, the little punching bag in the back of the throat, which is called the uvula. And that actually stiffens up that area and uh, gets rid of snoring for most people. Now, do you feel the difference with those implants? You don't, uh, well, I should say you do initially. Once the, when they're first implanted, you can kind of feel that there's something back there for about a day or so. The, the true effect of the procedure happens uh, as your body reacts to those implants, and it's a natural, or a, a, your body's reaction to that uh, is in the form of a stiffening to the palate. So you're implanting something. I um, would imagine that there is scar tissue. D that has any effect on your taste or no, anything else? No, no effect on the taste at all. Um, and it is actually, it, it is scarring. It's fibrosis is what we call it. And what that is is just a stiffening process. The material itself is actually a suture material that's been around for about 50 years. So we used it commonly for, for you know, su suturing wounds and things like that. So um, that's been known. It's been implanted in, in, in the body for a long time. But this new application is what's been really um, remarkable. And and it's working? Yeah, absolutely. It works for about 80 to 90 percent of people who have snoring. And how long? Um, as far as when does it when does yeah. it start working? It mm -hmm. starts working typically about three to four weeks after it's implanted, and the implant stays in for life. It can be removed if necessary, but that's uh, extremely rare. And if anyone lives with someone who snores, or they themselves are a snorer, it's it's more than just the the loud disruption. I mean, we really are talking quality of life because when you don't get that sleep day after day after day, it really starts to affect your health. Your mental outlook, everything. Yep, absolutely. And it's it's not just the person who snores, it's more everybody in, in, the, in the room, house, in the yes. house, and um, and you know everybody kind of gets grumpy, basically. So what, um, are there people who are like not good candidates for this procedure? There are. There are people who have s a severe sleep apnea and other issues anatomically that would better be served by other procedures. So it's it's one piece of the armamentarium um, that, that sort of goes against sleep disordered breathing. Sleep disorders, we're hearing a lot about it because a lot of people have them. Correct. Dr. Kandula, thank you so much for being here. Thank you. It's 822 and still ahead this morning. Take this job and...